You are listening to a recording from the 2021 Pumanar Scholars Virtual Residency Fair. We would like to take a moment to thank the residency programs who have taken the time to present at our fair this year. This year's Pumanar Scholars Virtual Residency Fair is supported by Pumanar Recap, the best resource for your physiatry clinical preparation, audition rotations, board preparation, and beyond. Pumanar Recap offers 35 hours of review videos, hundreds of review questions, and even oral board cases. Head to pmnrrecap.com to learn more. ...is on the call, and I will give her the floor. Thank you so much for the introduction. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Ramirez. Um, I'm a general physiatrist and also a graduate of University Hospitals. So I have been asked to give this presentation tonight. Um, I can also kind of give my point of view to you guys as a former resident. So let me share my screen. Here we go. So we have this little presentation that we put together of just kind of our most frequently asked questions. So I'm going to run through it pretty quickly. It's kind of long, so I will be skipping over some sections. I do want to give a minute or two at the end for questions. And then also I'll stick around for a few minutes if you guys want to send me any questions in the chat. And I'll also be putting our program director's email address in the chat and feel free to email him with any other questions you may have. He's super approachable, so don't be afraid to shoot him an email. Okay, so this is University Hospitals. And for those of you who don't know, we're located in Cleveland, Ohio. We do have a ton of nationally ranked departments at our, at our facilities. We do have our 10-year ACGME accreditation. We also have our osteopathic recognition. So um, last time I checked, we are the only PM&R program with that. So that's something unique if you're interested in the osteopathic approach. We're also the official healthcare partner of the Cleveland Browns. So if you're interested in sports medicine, we do get to do some fun things there. So we are an integrated program. We do work with some other residents. We have like family med, internal med, um, ortho, EM, dermatology, mostly intern year you'll work with them. Um, you'll also work with them further years for like ortho and EM a little bit as well. So these are the questions we get the most. So one is Cleveland a great place to live? So yes, actually there is a lot of great things to do here. Low cost of living, which is really nice on a resident salary to not have to take on any extra debt as a resident. There's also a lot of great things to do here. We're right on the Cuyahoga River and Lake Erie. So we do go there a lot for some of our resident activities. This picture here on the left is us on Dr. Parnell's boat, our program director. Um, and you see it's right there by one of the theme parks. So we actually went to the theme park and went on his boat afterwards. So that was a lot of fun. Professional sports, we have three major sports teams here. So that's a lot of fun. We have a picture here on the bottom right with us going to a Cavs game uh, when LeBron was still here, sadness. But what are you gonna do? <laughs> We also have a great arts district. If you're interested in, interested in the arts, the Cleveland Orchestra is amazing, one of my favorites. So I highly recommend checking them out if you're ever in town. Uh, Cleveland Zoo, of course, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, uh, free for Cleveland residents. So if you do end up getting to move here, you get to go there for free. In our Metro Park system, this is my favorite thing about the Cleveland area. We have an amazing Metro Park system. They do a really great job maintaining everything, really varied terrain. If you like hiking, biking, running, whatever you want, we've got it for you. And the Cuyahoga Valley National Park is also really great. They have um, the steam train, which is a lot of fun, and then also more hiking trails. So would you be training at a top ranked healthcare system? So yes, this is, I should probably update this, but from 2018, this is some of our awards that our different, pro, our different departments have gotten at the hospital. So they do a good job for themselves and they've gotten all these different recognitions. I'm just gonna flip through it, but it exists. Rainbow babies and children. Uh, we also do our pediatric, some of our pediatric rotations there. Really great system, really great people to work with and really to enjoy it. So this is a question we get a lot, especially with the pandemic going on. Will the hospital I train not be financially stable? So yes, throughout the entire pandemic, UH has never cut any of the clinical staff's uh, salaries. They really do um, prioritize us. So that's been really nice. And then as residents, we've always still had access to all of our like stipends and everything. So they really do put us first as, you know, they recognize that we're on the front lines and we're working hard. So they, they take care of us, which is nice. And then some other things they've done over the past 10 years, lots of different um, restoration projects they've been expanding. They've also been doing a lot of community response things, which I'm gonna flip through, but feel free to look that up. Some other questions we get is what are uh, some of the values at UH and what's, what are the academic partners? And then what's the environment like? So this is a little cheesy, you know, excellence, diversity, integrity, compassion, teamwork. It's what's on the website, but the reality is it's actually true. We really do have a great diverse group of residents. We all get along really well. And the department as a whole is, is really like a giant family. So it's so much fun working here and getting along with everyone. And it really doesn't feel like uh, it, it's not a work environment when we're all together. We actually have a really great time. 
and academic partners. So the nice thing about us being in the Cleveland area, we actually have a, a joint didactic system with our other PM&R programs in the area. So with Cleveland Clinic and Metro Health, we have our weekly didactic together, which is really awesome. So you get to take advantage of the best that the city has to offer in terms of the different specialties under PM&R. We also do some things with the Cleveland VA in terms of spinal cord injury training and our EMG training. And we do our children's uh, PM&R training through Akron Children's and Cleveland Clinic as well. So we've got a lot of opportunities with, with other um, educational providers in the area. So our environment, this is just some pictures. We like to do things a lot together. We have like two formal resident get togethers every year where we're all excused from rotations and get together, but we get together all the time. So it's a lot of fun. We do different things. You know, we go bowling, we go to top golf, we go ax throwing. And so it's a lot of fun that we can all do that and still, still learn in a great environment. And we also support family. So we do some things where we get family members involved too. Education. So like I said, we do have an osteopathic integration in our program. We also have the optional alternative or integrative medicine, which is through um, the Arizona College of Medicine. So that's actually if something you're interested in. It's funded by the residency program. It's an additional fellowship that you do during residency. So that's a unique thing that we offer if that's something you're interested in. And we also do um, competency-based training and like testing throughout our education as well to prepare for boards. Scholarly activity, we also have a lot of research opportunities if that's something you're interested in. A lot of us have done different presentations at various um, conferences. This is actually a picture of me at one of the conferences I presented at. So if that is something you're interested in, we have a lot of really great support and mentors who can help you through that. So I'm just gonna run through some of our faculty. So Dr. Parnell, he's our program director. He is dual board certified in human and sports medicine. Dr. Pastoriza, she's our associate program director. She's dual fellowship trained in pain medicine and interventional biologics. So she does a lot of like the PRP and things like that. So if you're interested in more of the orthobiologic route, she's a really good resource and you get a lot of hands-on training with her. Dr. Schaefer, he's our division chief and he's also the associate professor of ortho at Case Western. He's board certified in human and sports medicine. He's also a really good resource if you enjoy doing procedures. He does a lot of ultrasound, uh, ultrasound guided procedures. So that's also a great resource if you're interested in that. Dr. Gazillo, he's one of our spine docs. So we get a lot of hands-on training with him for interventional spine. Dr. Trickett's one of our general physiatrists, so we work with her mostly on the inpatient side. And then Dr. Sorrells is one of our main outpatient physiatrists, so we get a lot of our general outpatient training with her. Dr. Arsenault is one of our um, EMG faculty members through the VA, so you'll do quite a few months of EMG to prepare you for graduation, and so a lot of those will be with her. And then these are some of our other PM&R um, attendings that we have. So we actually have more faculty members than residents, which is really nice. So you have a really good support system for, for getting through residency. So a little bit about our curriculum. So we do have various lectures that we do. So one is our osteopathic grand rounds, which are held monthly, and that's for our osteopathic recognition. And that is mostly um, a little bit of didactic, but mostly a hands-on approach. So we all get the tables out and we practice OMT on each other, learn new techniques. For our regular didactics, those are weekly. So for PGY1, those are on Wednesday afternoons. And it's mostly to prepare you for step three, whereas the rest of the years, two through four, are those joint didactics I was talking about. So those are Thursday mornings, and that's with Cleveland Clinic and Metro. And it hits everything. So all of the PM&R topics, it's mostly didactic format, but they do do some procedural training as well. So it's a really, it's a really robust didactic series, and we're really fortunate to have Skill development, like I've kind of touched on a little bit, we do a lot of different skill development, but we also do some unique things. So you'll see that picture there in the center. That's actually us learning fire cupping, which was really interesting. So we do we do get some unique experiences, which is really nice. Rotation. So we have various sites that we go to, but they're all around the greater Cleveland area. And for those of you who are coming from another big city, something that I didn't know when I moved to Cleveland is the traffic is surprisingly not bad. So if you want to go from one side of Cleveland all the way to the other, it's like 15 minutes during rush hour. So when we say it's around Cleveland, you really, it's nothing like if you lived around a bigger city. So no, no worries there. Um, so PGY run ro one rotations are um, kind of a general rotating internship year. Dr. Tangan is the PGY one like traditional rotating intern program director. So you'll work a lot with him your intern year. And these are our general rotations. So again, it's a little bit of everything because it is a traditional rotating year, but we do actually put some PM&R specific things in there. So you will do an inpatient PM&R block. You will do some ortho and a little bit of geriatrics as well. And then everything else is just general medicine to prepare you for, for boards and to have a traditional intern year. 
And then after intern year, let me flip through some of this. After intern year, it's going to be general PM&R. So you're going to hit everything. You're going to have spinal cord. You're going to have PEDS PM&R. You're going to have EMG. You're going to have interventional. So we hit everything. Um, we have a rotation for every subspecialty. So if you want to subspecialize, you will be prepared for that as well. And you can get ready for a fellowship. Um, we do like rheumatology, ortho surgery. We do a musculoskeletal radiology course, which is our um, rotation, which is really cool. And we also have a research course that is paid for through Case Western University. It's a graduate course. So if you are interested in research, you can take advantage of that as well. So this is one of our freestanding inpatient rehab hospitals. This is where we do um, a lot of our inpatient rotations. And so it's a freestanding hospital. Like I said, it's a 50 bed um, hospital and it's it's got everything, you know, physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech, respiratory. We have specialists who come in and help with like medicine, pulmonary, things like that. That way you don't have to focus too much on that. You can really focus on the rehab side of things, which is really great. Um, and like I said, we have the full team there. And then other residency programs we have, I'm just going to fly through this. UH has other programs. You guys don't care. Your PM&R. PM&R is the best. <laughs> All right. So some perks that we have at UH. So vacation, a lot of people like to ask about this. We do have the maximum allowed days by the ACGME. So we do have 20 days per year for vacation. And you can use that whenever you want. That's something people ask a lot. The only restriction is intern year for internal medicine. If you do take vacation, you do need to get coverage, which of course is hard to do, but that's three months total out of intern year. But besides that, you can use your vacation whenever you want, which is really nice. We also get an annual educational stipend, which you can use for like books or conferences or whatever you want. And we can also go to AAP and R, which is covered by the program as well. Um, we have various different evaluation and feedback tools, and it's really nice because the attendings are super approachable. Um, you can go to them with anything you have. If you have questions, if you are, are concerned with some deficiencies you may have, they really will support you and help you through it. And then we also have formal evaluation tools that we do. We have a semi-annual evaluation, certification evaluation. And we go over those with our program director, which is really nice to kind of get that feedback full circle. We also have the resident as teacher or educator, which is basically we work with med students and we teach them and then the attendings teach us how to teach. So it kind of, uh, it furthers that academic approach. And I am flying through this, but again, this is why you should train with us. We do have a comprehensive didactic program. We have an extensive clinical program, lots of hands-on, really great faculty. And we have a commitment to the osteopathic approach. So that's something that makes us unique. And we have um, some elective opportunities and we have really good competitive placement of our graduates. We have a 100% pass rate on the boards and all of our graduates were able to move on to where they wanted to, whether it be fellowship or straight into the workforce. We really do like each other. I know it's corny, but it's true. So these are some of the pictures again of some of the fun things that we like to do together. And we get together every chance we can get. We're so happy that, you know, in Cleveland, the pandemic is not too crazy right now. So we can actually do some things because it was kind of killing us there for a while and not being able to see each other as much. So it is, it is great having a family environment, especially if you don't have family or stuff in the Cleveland area. And then some of the things that we look for in a resident, we want motivated adult learners, people who are team players. We want people with positive attitudes who are gonna fit well with us and the rest of us here. Um, also someone with a commitment to osteopathic medicine, that is something that makes us unique. So that's something we also look for. Um, we do prioritize for the Ohio area, but I will say I personally am from Florida. We have residents um, from, oh goodness, Nevada, uh, California, Oregon. So everywhere, but that is one of our priorities. And we want people who want to make a difference in medicine. And I already went over what we seek to offer. And follow us on Instagram, guys. <laughs> so I have a couple of minutes left. So if anyone has any questions, feel free to either shoot it in the chat and I will answer it, or you can um, unmute your mic and I will answer that way as well. Yeah, so PGY2s, do they get pain exposure? That was one of the questions in the chat. And yes, they do um, if you choose to do it as your elective. So it's one of the required rotations in third and fourth year. But if, you would, if you're interested in it and show an interest, that's one of the nice things about our program is you do have the option to kind of mold your schedule to what your interests are. And most people don't know by PGY2 what they want to do. But if you do, we'd be happy to rearrange your, your schedule accordingly to make sure you get the experience you need to prepare for fellowship.
So continuity clinic, that's a great, a great question. So we actually are just starting it up this year. So it's not fully up and running yet, but there will be a continuity clinic by the time you guys get to PGY2, which is when you would be doing it anyway. So yes, there will be a continuity clinic. Sports med opportunity. So that's a great question. So the intern year is when you have sports med requirements. It's part of the family med sports med rotation. So you'll be doing some um, sideline things with some of the local high schools. We do some things with Kent State. So you'll be working with the basketball team there and the gymnastics team there. Then after intern year, um, the opportunities are voluntary, but you can continue to work with, we have multiple sports med doctors. So if you just click with one, whichever one you know has teams that you pr prefer to be with, and you can work with them and do some more things on your free time. So it wouldn't be like during your regular rotations. It would be like on weekends or evenings. But there are plenty of opportunities if you'd like to partake in that. A marathon coverage, again, that's a pretty frequent one whenever we have marathons in the area. They do always ask if, if any of us would be willing to help out with that. Of course, any other questions? I think I have a couple more minutes. Oh, ultrasound exposure. So yes, Dr. Schaefer, the way you said it, I, I feel like you know, might know him. So Dr. Schaefer is our ultrasound guru. He's actually very well known in the Cleveland area. He's very good with ultrasound. He's our go-to just because we love how he teaches ultrasound, but he is not our old, only ultrasound teacher. So Dr. Sorrells is one of our other outpatient providers. She uses ultrasound a lot, as does Dr. Pastoriza, the one who does orth orthobiologic. So you will get plenty of ultrasound exposure. We also have ultrasound didactics. So you'll be learning it in a didactic format as well. And we have ultrasound machines that we use and we can like practice on each other as well. Five minutes remaining. Thank you. Let me also get you all Dr. Parnell's email address. And that way, if there's any lingering questions or if you wanna ask him something directly, feel free to reach out to him. And again, this is our program director. So that is in the chat. Oh, great question. So um, the one in the chat is what, what made me ultimately decide that UH was the right program for me. So I'm a, a DO. So I wanted to go to a osteopathic focused program. At the time that I applied, there was still a, um, there wasn't the, the, one, the single match, the ACG me only match. There was two separate matches. So I only applied to DO focused programs at the time, which there was only like five. <laughs> so of the five, UH is the one that I clicked with the most just because of the people and the location I really liked. Um, some of the others were in higher cost of living areas, which I wasn't too keen on. And then again, the osteopathic integration was a big deal for me. I didn't own a fellowship, so I was really wanting to continue that. Good questions, guys. The email accidentally went to just our direct message, Dr. Ramirez, so I reposted it in the group chat. Oh, thank you so much. I just, yes, I do see that I did that. <laughs> oh, research opportunities. Um, so let's see. So I'm trying to think of the different ones that it's, I can tell you the one I did. So I was actually looking at specifically OMT used on nurses to see if that would have an indirect relationship to patient satisfaction scores. So I was like, hey, if nurses are happy, maybe the patients will be happier. So that was one of the research projects I did. Um, there are some like clinical trials and things that, that we do in partnership with um, Cleveland Clinic and Metro as well. There are, I think there was a spinal cord stimulator trial that they were doing. One of the residents did, oh, I'm trying to think, she presented it at a conference. I don't remember off the top of my head, but there's been quite a few research projects and conference presentations. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of opportunities if, if that's something that you're interested in. I've got like a minute left if there's another question or two. All right, well, thank you all so much for your attention. Again, if you have any other questions, feel free to send Dr. Parnell um, an email and then I'll linger around for a couple more minutes in case any others pop up in the chat, but otherwise enjoy the rest of your evening.